Hey folks, welcome back to Imposter Factory. Okay, so after after spending more time in here than I would like, uh, it's time to go to the basement for some reason. Not exactly sure what we'll be doing there, especially since we know that this is not really real, but okay. And I don't really, maybe I shouldn't be, but I'm still scared. Ugh. Okay, uh, wait. It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't want to go either. Uh, take this. Take this. Oh, cat join party. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. Why not? Okay. Mm Oh, just you and me? Rice spot's not coming? All right. Well, here goes. Oh god, now what? Okay, so far nothing too scary. Looks just like how I've seen it before. Okay, we're down. Kinda creepy with no one here, though. Okay, so where can we go? I mean, we have to keep in mind that this is still... within memory traversal. It's not... This is just her recreation, so... It'll only have the things that she remembers. Right? I guess, I'm, I guess I'm trying so hard to not go in that room that she was working in. Ugh. I mean, if we must. Oh, yeah, they're even showing us the way. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What? I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. Oh no... What was that? I mean, don't tell me that the machine is breaking down, or something. Like, we know what it's like when there's problems with the actual machine, right? Did you- did you hear that? Something's not right. Yeah. I've gathered at least that much. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, you know what? Stop! Just, just stop it! What the fuck is this? Why is this corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaking. How? It's all metal and concrete here. There is no wood. And you, what do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife. You're just a cat. And now that I think about it, you aren't even that long. <laughs> if only you were actually helpful. Oh, now look what you did. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, first the murders, and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it's really... Really can't get worse from here. Well... Wouldn't say that. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Wait, what was that? Hmm? What? Uh huh? What's the goofy music? What? What's happening right now? <laughs> 
you've uh, you've changed. You've become something else, something uh, more. You're you're taking the lead. At the darkest hour, you really come through for me. Huh. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. <laughs> All right. Let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Uh, oh, yeah, he really is taking the lead. What? Sometimes when this game breaks for silliness in the middle of all the, all the darkness, it's really confusing. <laughs> like, it's really jarring. I don't know how to take it. Hello? Lenry? You're... you're back. Yeah, sorry, I had to step out to double-check something. Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be... looping. <laughs> Boy, I'll say. Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Uh, thanks. But why was it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should be just ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. All right. And yeah, I guess she... I guess she was right. Here we are. Well, we're finally here. You ready? Okay, Lenry, do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready and loaded. Should we, uh, prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your data streamed. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. Well then, shall we begin? I'm not even really sure what we're doing, but yeah, sure. Begin the final test. I'm not sure what else there is to do in this uh, endless void beyond this room, so, you know, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and, let, and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh-huh. Do you see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Although... Although... There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short-circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from, uh... What the hell? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Uh... Quincy? The system is almost ready. What are you seeing? I don't... Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? And where did the cat go? Oh. Oh my god. Is Linry not seeing this? What? Uh... What?
I... Don't move. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You already know why. Oh my god. Okay, if she doesn't even know what the hell's going on, then I'm... I'm scared. Then... Are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier... When I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log in back in with. As if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? No, you are real. Relative to this place, at least. Linry? Then, how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. What? I may have created your world, but another had created mine. Oh, don't... don't try to pull this shit on me. So even, in her, even her world is a simulation, is that what we're calling it? Over and over until however many layers. At the bottom of the stack, there exists the world that ran the first simulation. What? But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Yeah, it's like recursion. Oh my god, yeah! If you're a programmer and you know, um... I mean, I only know a little bit of, of code, you know? I, I don't have that much experience, but... Yeah, it's like when your computer gets overwhelmed by um, too many permutations or too many different layers of recursion. That's what this is, isn't it? Tell me, are we at the top of the stack? You're correct. Then, there's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here! That's different. He's... He's... Linry? Tell me, who are we to you? To me? Oh, oh my god! No way! How the hell? To me, you are no one. Holy shit. But then again, doesn't mean much. I'm not so different from that rice bot of this world, after all. You don't look like a rice bot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Yeah, pretty sure. Well. Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. 
to a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Uh, hey, what are you- But yeah, how is she here? I don't- Does this mean that Ava and Neil have something to do with her being here? Oh no. Not that. What is happening right now? I wasn't prepared to- What? I- Shall we? I wasn't prepared for any kind of crossover with the previous games. I, I wasn't sure what to expect. There are a lot of tangents out there, beyond this one. Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. But this particular tangent is being observed, because it's special. It's special because, despite being at the top of the stack, it was almost identical to base reality. There, everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth. Your diagnosis. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as, all you, as you could. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career while you, where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. You escaped. Traveled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. Huh? When you came back from the trip, and found out you were pregnant. When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. Congratulations, but please rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How's he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. <laughs> He's tiny. Our little Toby Reynard. 
actually about that. I've been thinking, well... Maybe... Maybe he should take your surname instead. My surname? I mean... I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of lots of reasons why he should. I love that. Uh, <gasps> what? Although, Toby doesn't ring as well with Watts, does it? Oh my god. Wait, no. What? Do you have something else in mind, then? How about... Neil? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, are you serious? Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. Our little Neil Watts. Oh my god. That means the illness makes sense too, doesn't it? In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. Oh, and she was in a wheelchair then. Oh. Okay, I understand. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment couldn't hurt your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you live long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends. to leave something for him for when he grows up. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. When it rains, it pours. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hered hereditary condition. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori. Oh, is that little Ava? Oh, wow. It stirred up something within him, pushing him further, as it did for you. Although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close. Oh, he wasn't successful with everyone. I miss these two so much. I can't believe this. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked. All the way past the research you left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again he was re rejected by the foundation over your incident. So instead, he sought an alternate route. 
he pivoted to an external company that licensed in the imperfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. <laughs> With some help from a friend. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used to, to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. Oh my god, yeah. I did say that she became a technician like him, but... It was the other way around. Wow. A company called Sigmund Corp. It's been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own, on his own accord with the hardware and data access. And today in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in and every world in the stack it stands, up, it stands upon bear the result of his first of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected the first successful test this machine he built what is it for a window into a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone oh yeah that's that's beautiful So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to, to see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born, I wished I'd made a different choice then. I'm so glad that somewhere out there I did. Oh, that's so horrible. And... I mean, I, I did say that I hoped this was a permutation, but it's still so... I mean, for her, it doesn't matter. To this version of her, this is the life she lived, right? I'm so glad that he's made it. God. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundary of said events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you let it run just this once? But it's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I'm also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They, too, managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the Foundation will fail and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But... The worlds aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. What? Oh, a cat friend's back. Rice bot? You guys got here just in time. 
Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there is no protocol for them. Love to stay here. Oh. Goodbye, old friend. Hey, about what happened back there? Oh. <laughs> I know, I, it was pretty scary, huh? Listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. On the other hand, uh, sorry that we got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't ever even alive. I honestly still don't know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Take care, little dude. So, uh, you heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linry's data feed. But do not worry, for I'm well-versed. Uh, well-versed in what? In ceasing to exist. I am shut down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell. Until next time. Farewell, Rice Bot. I could call it here, but fuck it. I don't. I don't want to wait anymore. You doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm more than okay. Let's go. Well. Shall we go? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Yeah, um... Lidry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Somewhere far. But you'll be in good company. Now, this ride might be more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat or the back? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess Lenry can sit up front. Alright, your call. <laughs> shit, shit, fuck shit! <laughs> oh. God, I, I really didn't think that those paper planes would come back. Wow. Oh. What the hell? We've reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones? What? What is all this? Uh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Uh... Are these all... Versions of you from Tandit's where I materialized, yes? The salvageable ones, at least. Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but... If we consolidate the ones similar enough, then there'd only be one set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue in infinite loops, but still keep you, in a sense. Speaking of which... Huh. I think everyone's here. Huh. There, isn't that better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. Oh no, what's gonna happen? What are you doing? W what are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. Oh, oh. Huh? What? 
Um, okay. Yeah, sure. That's exactly what that looks like. Finally. Some peace and quiet. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. What? Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It'll be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain. But to you, it'll feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Linry? We get to live the perfect timeline. Linry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters anyway. But... But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too, in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They may not be THE reality, but they were still our realities, and all that we'd known. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but it's just as relative to us. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit, and time to grow old together? What do you say, Linry? Want to go on one last trip together? You'll wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Wait, so that's really it? We get to watch their whole life now. Oh. Ah, oh, this game's gonna make me cry again, isn't it? <laughs> God, 
I, I love these two no matter what universe they're in. God, and I love that uh, we now know that Ava was part of his history. That she really has been there from the beginning. <laughs> This means that they're really together, too. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I never thought I'd see them again. Is that me? I can move? Wow. What a beautiful life. them even more now. God, and I knew that Ava and Neil were perfect together. Can't be crying. <laughs> God damn it. That's not fair. <laughs> Well, we had a good run, huh? The bestest. <laughs> it's about time.
This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But... I just wish he were actually here. He is here. <laughs> He's been here this whole time. And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be. No way. Wow. I'm like, I, yeah, I knew that musical motif had to come from somewhere, right? Wow. I just, oh my god, I'm still taking all this in. And I didn't expect it to end so soon and all at once like this. But also I can't think of any other way to end this. I mean, I think I would have liked to see more of Ava and Neil together. Because of course I would. But to finally understand who Quincy and Lenry are, you know, in, in all of this. You know, and to see that that all that stuff that Neil was hiding, everything he was doing in the, in the last game, was, I guess, for this project. He was keeping secrets for a good reason. And also, God, I really hope that him and Ava getting together actually is canon and is supposed to happen because... <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah, I'm biased because it reminds me of me and my partner, but still. <laughs> I love all four of these guys. I mean, I don't know if this team intends to finish, like, finish the series with this game, or if they're actually going to, um, do more, you know? Because I, w I would love to see a continuation of Neil and Ava, maybe even, um, you know, during married life or whatever. And, you know, we've seen a lot of Neil because of this game. We, had, we, know, we now know who that grandfather is that he was talking about, right? Because uh, I think they mentioned his grandfather in To the Moon, you know? But, yeah, I would, love to, I would love to learn more about Ava, you know? And, like, if that's, all, if that's at all possible, and just more adventures with these two. But also, if this team has told every story they want to tell, I could also understand that. But, goddamn, it was lovely. I mean, I'm I'm a little caught off guard because I thought I'd be playing this game for longer. <laughs> and I have to plan my next series, but... Yeah, other than that... God, I really... I'm so glad I came back to this. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm sharing it with everyone, and... I'll have so much to think about. You know, this is definitely a series that I'll I'll just keep coming back to because now I understand like the hype around around all of this. And I would love to see 
you know, anything that comes next. I'm hoping there's some kind of, um, maybe there's another cutscene afterwards, after this. But I don't, ah, uh, I guess we'll just take a, we'll take a chance, right? Oh, finally, here we are. And yeah, I guess that is what he was using Faye for, then. That makes sense. Oh! Just saying I miss them. Oh, Neil, there you are. And I get to use my normal voice. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you. <laughs> That's not funny. It's a little funny. Oh. <laughs> So, did I handle that all right? Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. But still. Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no, that's alright. It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written, or ever will be, can be found there. So, it's mostly nonsense and noise, but... Once in a while, you reach for a book, and... It just happens to be exactly what you need. What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait! You don't mean- What- what is this now? I- Neil! I have to remember all these voices, oh my god. I don't have your stapler, I swear. Oh, don't be silly. We were just nearby. Nearby now? Very far an hour ago, before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway, we were gonna go somewhere rad. You in? Uh, how rad? Surprisingly rad. A hard pass. Gee, somebody's a party pooper. Well, all right. I guess now all you can need ice cream for Neil then. I said, I guess now all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. Hmm. We might as well, Neil. Who knows when, we'll, when will be the next time we'd be able to. How'd it change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Hmm? Is somebody in there? Hello? Of course we don't know what's next. Fuck. I... I mean, yeah, if, um, if Neil and Ava still have more stories to tell, I would, I would love to follow this team further. Into their next projects, you know? God, and... And yeah, I mean, if, um... If Neil and Ava getting together isn't canon, at least not yet... I mean... Yeah, even if it's not, like, another memory to Russell story, I'd just love to have more of them. Just because I'm a romantic, and I, and I love those two, and... 
Yeah, I would like to see them get together. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe in a way that is more appropriate for this timeline, but... Yeah. I just... I didn't think I would, but I've really fallen in love with this universe, and, the, and like, I just love this team's work, and I'm just so glad that I was able to share it with everyone, and I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did, because I don't know how I stayed away from this series for so many years, but I'm happy that I experienced it now. So, anyway... I'm going to let this sink in and, and just take a break because I have so much to think about. But yeah, I'm thinking that very soon it's time for me to get into, into Trials and Tribulations. So I'll be back with that uh, as soon as I can. I know that um, I'm, I'm really busy right now because I'm actually in the middle of moving. So we will see when I'm actually able to do that consistently enough. But God, anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me for this. And this was not something that I was expecting to do this year. You know, but I'm, I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that I remembered this existed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.